the title of the course is Life in the Universe. But more often than not, you're going to see astronomers calling it astrobiology. Astrobiology is the study of organic life in a cosmological setting. It combines astronomy and biology and is the branch of science that is designed to develop knowledge from which we can make predictions about how common life is and about where life may reside in the universe. And also for developing strategies for finding life out there. One of the main things about astrobiology is that it is a very multidisciplinary science. There is no one science that can answer all of the questions of astrobiology. We must combine elements from many sciences, mostly from astronomy and biology, but other fields also, such as geology, chemistry, engineering, physics, mathematics, also play a role. So let's see this multidisciplinarity. First is astronomy. Astronomy teaches us about the cosmic ecosystem, how many and what type of stars are there, how many planets and what types of planets there are. It teaches about the relationships between these objects and the cycles of their formation and demise. We can learn how life is connected to these processes and how many environments there are where life may be capable of persisting. Astronomy involves the studies of stars and galaxies and the universe as a whole, and it essentially provides the background over which we conduct this search. It is astronomy that gives us the context. For a long time, for most of human history, in fact, it was assumed that the Earth was the center of the universe. The stars were just lights in the sky, so it was not assumed that they were suns. Therefore, it was not thought that they had planets. In that framework, search for life on the surfaces of other planets didn't make sense. It was with the realization that the Earth does not occupy a special place in the universe that the whole framework that we operate to search for life can actually take place. It's a change that happened about 400 years ago. We're going to cover that in detail. But this point should be clear. We know that the Earth is just one tiny world that is orbiting an ordinary star in a very vast cosmos. And this opens up countless possibilities for life to exist in other worlds. What we're seeing here is a video where we're zooming out away from the Earth. And what you're seeing now is stars in the galaxy as we zoom out. So we first zoomed out away from the solar system. Now we're among the stars and zooming out to the scales of the Milky Way, the galaxy that we live in. We're going to be zooming out more and more in this video until every point that you see is a galaxy. And a galaxy has trillions of stars, and the universe has trillions of galaxies. Indeed, the universe is a very vast place, and this opens up countless possibilities for life on other worlds. So astronomy provides a context to the search of life in many ways. But one of the most important things that we found from astronomy that impacts the search of life is that we learned that the laws of physics are the same everywhere. It's not that there is one set of laws of physics that applies on Earth and another set of laws of physics that applies on the, on the other side of the universe. All of our scanning of the night sky, all of our study of astronomical objects points to the fact that physics is universal. We're not the center of the universe in location and have no reason to think that we're central in any other way. Thus, the astronomical context makes it clear that the universe holds an enormous number of stars that could potentially be orbited by planets with life.